Hey everyone, I'm Adam and I'm going to show you how to fix this blank messed up screen on your bezel here. This is a Xerox 8500. The 8400s don't have this problem as much, but the later models seem to have it more often. Sometimes it'll show up as garbled text. I'll turn it on and you can see what I'm talking about. And um, normally I like to fix everything if I can. In this case, you can get a free replacement bezel. And uh, even if you're not the original owner and even if it's out of warranty, you can still get one, so don't worry about it. It's not a big headache, luckily. Usually things like this are, but this one, uh, it's not as bad as it seems. When you call Xerox, they're gonna ask for the serial number, and it's right down here. It says SN, and uh, the number, you're gonna need that info. Also, what model number this is. Now, this here just says 8500, but if you look on the back, it shows 8500 slash 8550, so. That's what this is. Now, let me turn it on and I can show you what it's doing. So it's powering up and soon, you know, here's where you'd see the Xerox thing come across. And then this will start to light up. Alright, now the bezel's on. You can see it's lit up here but there's absolutely no image at all. So, I'll show you how to pop this one out. All right, before I take this out, uh, to get the replacement, you're gonna call the number in the text below this video. And uh, if you need to click more info or whatever, you can see all the text that's typed there. And then once you dial it, you're gonna push extension one, extension one, and that gets you to the right department. You're gonna tell them again what model number you have, and then your serial number. And in this case, I bought this used. It's way out of warranty. I'm not the original owner. And, uh, and I told them that when I called them. And so, because uh, this pulled up under the old uh, owner's company name. And then, so they switched the uh, ownership to me. They typed in my info and, uh, and replaced it on their system. And then they sent this absolutely free, no shipping, uh, charge nothing and they even overnighted it so less than 24 hours ago it hasn't even been 24 hours they sent me this replacement so that was awesome of them I think the problem is this is a known issue they used to be re uh, reliable but um, they must have switched to a different manufacturer or something but something happened where these started to be flaky so I think they just said okay Everybody gets a replacement if they call up for one. Because I found about uh, getting a replacement in a forum. Uh, there was a blog post from 2008, and this is 2014 right now. So, um, a long time ago. So I tried it, and it worked. So to get this off, it's super easy. You don't need any tools. You can open up this. That'll help. And then you just kind of... Wiggle your fingers underneath here. And pull this down. And it comes off. You can see these little circles slip down and in, down and forward that way. So I'll put that on again. See if I could do it a little smoother. Down and up. And this thing comes off. And here it is, you see it's not even screwed in, which makes it really nice. You kind of flip it up a little bit and pull out this carefully. Cable, this other white cable on this side, and kind of rock this black one back and forth to get this out. There we go. It's not often that you can fix something like this without a screwdriver. Kind of refreshing. Well, they even give you some instructions, huh? Yeah, unplug it and turn it off before you do this. Yeah, pretty simple. So, all right, 
and here's our new one. They have a uh, ribbon cable already attached, so I'm going to take this one off. So I got one right here. So that's three little cables. And it just sits there. It doesn't click in or anything. All right, again, so I'm gonna line these round pegs up with this slot on both sides. And that's it, whole thing's done. There we go. That's a real confidence builder. This printer without the screen is near useless. So anyway, I hope this has helped you. If so, please click like and share and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them.